Hey everyone, happy to have you here for another episode of Legacy Matters. Today, as usual, we will talk about whatever comes up with a slight leaning toward discussions of preserving your legacy, preparing for things to come, and sharing stories we find amusing. Really? Yeah. You know, I drive like 50 minutes each way. So it's mm-hmm. like sometimes with music, but sometimes I just listen to listen podcasts. To podcast. You can, you know, discover new things or listen about your own, you know, field. And yeah, I really like it, you know, because when you're driving, it's just feel like it's a waste of, of time. Right, right. Well, yeah, I, uh, that, that's my, I mean, you can, unless you're thinking about work, you know. Right. Yeah, I've been listening to a lot more too. It's it's a nice way to spend your time. It's, mm-hmm. it's like uh, it's like watching episodes of things purposefully on streaming services rather than just watching the noise that TV is. Like when you get a podcast, yeah. you're listening to what you want to yeah, listen to. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Sometimes I even get annoyed because there's one traffic light I have when I we just get out of the house. Oh yeah. Oh. And I have to look at traffic because it comes very fast. But you know, in the US you can turn uh, right, right on the red light. Right. right. <laughs> and sometimes I have to pay so much attention to the uh, traffic that then uh, I missed out. And you know the thing that I find <laughs> difficult with a podcast is not rewinding. easy to rewind like yeah. a few seconds. Right. Especially <laughs> if you're driving not supposed to you know Right. And right. That, that annoys me. Usually yeah. you know if you're listening to music it's okay. You Yeah, you can you can kind of Push it back a bit. Positive, yeah. yeah. And then what I'm trying to is because my travel is 50 minutes, mm-hmm. sometimes the podcasts are more than, than, than that. Right. And right. then I ended up never listening to the end because when I come back from work, sometimes it's been such a long day, I want something like just music or maybe yeah. sometimes. Oh, music. you just drive around the block a few more times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, right, usually I will listen to the end like maybe a few days after. But there are some very yeah. good ones. Um, yeah, there are great ones out there. I'm listening. The other day I was listening to the Minimalist. There's a bit. Oh, yeah, they're great. And there's one called 10 Person Up Here, the guys. Um, you guys know the Minimalist? Uh, uh, yeah, I know the. I watched their show or oh, their, okay. their yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah. 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 documentary. Podcast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and have Give it a, it a little intro. Well, yeah, I mean, it, we, we may very well play that first part anyway, since I kind of... Oh, I think so. Yeah. yeah. But um, in the interest of letting anyone who may listen to this know who's here and what we're doing, why don't we start with names? Uh, I'm Sam, again, of course. James. Yeah. So Edith... And John Charles. And John Charles. And Edith, uh, Edith Garcia, you are from, right now, you live where? California. Yeah. Husband, Husband and wife. Husband John wife. Charles and Edith. And can I get you to move in just just a touch closer, yeah? And uh, so you live in Southern California. You are a professor, is this correct? I'm a professor, yes. Yes? At two colleges. Okay. And they are? Berkeley. Yep. And the California College of the Arts. Awesome. Hey. And John Charles? Oh, I work at um, a startup company called Lucid. Yeah, Lucid Motors, and the, is it is it Lucid Motors or is it that Lucid does a bunch of things and they happen to make an electric car as well? No, 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 no. We were making an electric vehicle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. And uh, you guys are just in town for fun. Um, I'm working point. actually. You came back for this for podcast? Work. Is that what you're yes, saying? Yes, I'm working yeah. for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm working at the Minneapolis College of Arts uh, tomorrow, uh, recruiting talent. Okay. Awesome. Yep. Very nice. Yeah. At the convention center, correct? No, at MCAD. Oh, at MCAD. Yeah. John Charles just came for fun. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. to see the city, so. Yeah, so you're, you're married, and where'd you meet? We met in, uh, in London, because we used to live in England for, I was there for 14, nearly 15 years, and he did the same. Yeah. 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 And, you, and you went to MCAD? Is yeah. You, uh, yeah. yeah MCAD right. here in Minneapolis, Minneapolis College of Art and Design. Yep. Very cool. All right. Well, um, I think that's a, enough of an intro. Let's. Uh, <laughs> we've got a little wine. We can all <clears throat> relax and chit chat. Yeah, so relax and have a good time. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you want to talk about? What do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> What's new in the world? <laughs> it's, uh, we, let's not get into politics because oh, it's no. crazy out there. <laughs> 
It's been a rough week. Well, here's a question. Edith, yes. how did you, well, where did you grow up? I grew up in El Paso, Texas. Okay. I know what you're doing. Well, hey, you know, this is the question. This is what's interesting. This is, you know, since we are building this app and it's a legacy app and it's sort of a, the idea of like, what is people's stories, you know? And I just think it's something that, you know, sometimes we can know each other for a long time. I mean, you and I have talked about this and we don't necessarily know the story of each other. You know, until we actually ask those questions, and it's and it's interesting. Um, There's and I, probably a lot more we don't know about each other, right? Than we, than <laughs> right. Know, but. but I think you know, just sitting here. I mean, I think it's kind of a nice opportunity. I mean, how did you end up in Minnesota, of all places? I mean, from El Paso. I mean, yeah, that's you know, like not normal, right? <laughs> and then did you know it was uh, miserably cold up here when you moved up here? Did I, anyone tell you that? Nope. Did yeah. you? Uh, did you ever? Seen no, snow? I, not in Texas. But it, the actuality <laughs> for the, that question is, um, I came to Minneapolis because Prince lived here. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, that makes a lot of sense. He was uh, yeah. quite the guy. Yeah. My uh, favorite musician at the time. Actually, since I was nine years old, he was my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... I didn't. You didn't know this. Well, no. This is what's so interesting <laughs> about this. Do you know this? Well, yeah, I know a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, you mean to tell me that you pick? You went from El Paso to Minnesota because of Prince? <laughs> yes. Did you? Absolutely. Say, and you never. And and what about the cold? Oh well, I didn't know about the cold. You right. know, all I knew was Prince lived here. Yeah. That's I right. wonder. <laughs> I wonder how many yeah. people that's sure. true. Of course. For, a know? lot of people. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. And, that's and really me cool. Me being from Minnesota, I sort of took them for granted for a lot of my life. That's not good. Oh, yeah, me too. I mean, that's I mean, kind of, well, I, growing believe up me, here. I've, I've come around full circle. Yeah. I know exactly. I mean, I get it. But, you know, that's as a too kid, funny. I mean, Prince was like, I remember in high school, it was like, oh, okay, Prince, that's cool. We could, he's like playing the first half. I was too young to get in the first half at the time and I was but, way too young he was yeah I mean it was like <laughs> his way whole, too young way, well, to, I'm, I'm, way to give me a, <laughs> a slam oh yeah I was too young but Sam was way, way too way younger. young yeah way younger than Jim sorry sorry <laughs> all I meant was when he was uh, when first dab was his thing I wouldn't have been more than you know seven to ten or something like right. that so right but then he had the glam slam though well that was yeah was that like was later. way later oh, okay. yeah yeah it was just like I kind of missed it on the. Yeah, I'm not that young, but no, I, I'm young enough. You're not <laughs> that much younger than me either. I mean, you know, 1999 <laughs> came out, oh, and it was like, you know, I mean, that was I was a sophomore in high school. Yeah, I was an infant. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, keep it coming, I'm Sam. <laughs> keep it coming. Okay. Anyway, All right. so yeah, I came from El Paso on Greyhound, uh, three days on the bus to get here, and. Uh, just for Prince. Just just for Prince. So you, so this is, I mean, seriously, this is I'm what's kidding. interesting. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, and you yes, wanted to go yeah. to this college. Of course, of yeah. course. Yeah. As yeah. Amber and I, you great. know, with two <laughs> teenage boys, right? You know, we're taking these kids to colleges right now. Yeah. Like to go check out the campus and do all this stuff. And I think like back then, I mean, I only got a piece of paper in the mail, mail you know, like a pamphlet. Yeah. And it was like, oh, this looks good. You would stare at the pictures. Yeah. And, you know, so you're that's, telling me this is before the Internet. Of yeah, course. this is before email or anything. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so you if, just if you guys listen to episode two, <laughs> right. we talk about that. You talk about that a lot in there. Like, do I? What do you talk about? The, yeah, just the fact that like when Jim and when I was deciding. Dude, that's the Alzheimer's I have. I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. It was episode one. That's why you don't remember. Oh, okay. we, yeah, that was longer. back in May. You can't remember back to May. <laughs> no, I yeah, can't. this last one was in, that was just back in September, and that oh, was about Halloween funny. and whatnot. Whew. Oh, yeah, you're okay. Your, your mind's still there. Okay. Um, and no, you did talk about it though. The fact that uh, when when we were deciding what college to go to, it was like a three, you know, trifold yeah, pamphlet right. or whatever, and you're like, wow, that one looks great. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't get that. Yeah. So, so you just knew Prince was here. You got accepted to the Minneapolis College of Art and Design, design. and you hopped on a bus. Yes. And what about your mom and your brothers? We're all sad. Let's hear about. So you have a mom and and how many siblings? One mom, no dad, and three brothers. 
Okay. So, yeah, I got on the bus. I left those guys behind. I lived on the bus for three days. It was a pretty long journey. Yeah. The Greyhounds wasn't um, as beautiful as it would be now. Yeah. Right. No, go ahead. <laughs> the Greyhound wasn't as, like, luxurious as it is now. Um, but, yeah, three days on the bus. Got to Minneapolis, uh, one suitcase. And I think I probably lived out of that suitcase for, like, six years of my life. Yeah. Yeah. I had, like, what, I had one pair of pants, three shirts, one jacket, and I had a hat. That was it. <laughs> Was this? Uh, That's why I came with a puzzle. That's why I left. Was this when you two <laughs> knew each other? So this would, no, you would have been no, 19. no. We didn't know each other until Not later. Yet. So yeah, I yeah. went to Minneapolis College of Art and Design too. Yeah. And we went to college together. But you know? we weren't there at the same time. No. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh, you weren't. No. What? Well, I'm older. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Keep. Uh, uh, listen. I, I, I got the. I. I that was a good one. Edith is, <laughs> Edith is cracking up over that one. Right, and Sam just... That was, like, so good. <laughs> right, It was right. very subtle. Right, okay. But did you hear the pain when you had to say it? I know, I know. <sighs> You're hardly even old. Don't let this get to you. Yeah, it's just one of the ways which no get under your skin. Okay, yeah. anyways. <laughs> Poor Jim. That's too funny. Okay, so... You're so at... you came up here, what year was that? 1994. 94. And then I graduated in 98. Okay. Yeah. So you're a 93 grad of high, high school? High school, yeah. yeah. Man, good math. Yo, Tambien. Yeah. ¿Tú también? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Wait, so we're the, no, we're the, we're same, the same age. age. Yeah. What? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Ah. Back, to, back to age. <laughs> let's get off age before All right, Jim let's move starts on. crying. <laughs> Nobody asked. Nobody asked. <laughs> no. I'm okay. <laughs> Poor John Charles. Uh, <laughs> and you grew up where, John Charles? I was born in France. Yeah. In the, um, uh, in Champagne region. Okay. And then um, when I was nine years old, my parents moved to the south of France, um, southeast, close to the Italian border. It's called Nice, and a sm- okay. they live in a small village called uh, Vence. So I moved there, and then. Um, and then I moved again when I was uh, 18 years old. I wanted to work on uh, racing car, Formula One cars. Okay. So I went to study. You went to work on racing on Formula One cars when you were 18? No, no. I, that, That's that, what you wanted you to do. Wanted you to wanted do. to do that. <laughs> okay. Because yeah. okay. I used to go, uh, one day a friend bought uh, tickets to watch the, um, oh, the Grand Prix in Monaco. And Schumacher, mm. was he? He was... Um, <laughs> It's the was only race the car driver I know. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just the one. But he was. And, uh, yeah, I'm more educated on F1 than you then. <laughs> yeah. I know way too much about F1. <laughs> oh, I've got a friend who's so into it. Just loves it. Another, another European. Yeah. And yeah. I, I just saw, uh, you know, one of the cars that was going around the track. And yeah. I, he had that little wings on the bodywork. And I thought, this is what I want to do. So everything I did after that what was... What age were you that way? I was, I don't know, maybe... 16 or something 16? like that, 15, 16 years old. That's amazing. So yeah. everything I did after that was to, to get a job there, but it's, it was difficult. So then I went five years in Paris. Mm-hmm. I studied um, automotive engineering, and then after that I moved to the north of France <laughs> where I did uh, six months on a oh, yeah. little three. Um, Formula 3 racing team. Okay. The owner had a brewery in the north of France. Yeah. And is that how he paid for that? So that was a very interesting right. because every race we had to bring beers Beer. from the brewery. That was so funny. And one, one time we, we lost a case on the on freeway, the road. but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, By accident. That, that's really interesting. So this yeah. is, you one have disappeared. dreamed of this. Yeah, yeah that since was, was 16 yeah. years old. Yeah. I did not, well, see, Did you I not didn't, know that? Well, no, I didn't know that. No. Uh-uh. no. I mean, obviously I know what you do, mm-hmm. you know, and it's very impressive. I mean, it's it's kind of the rock and roll job I mean it is yeah. you know but I didn't realize I'm that, not going to deny that, it <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah but yeah, I didn't realize cool. that, that as a child you know yeah, or a young man old, I mean, he was on it. you know yeah, yeah you're Amazing. like you're sitting here looking at Formula Ones and you're like yeah that's I'm, this is what like, I'm, I'm going to do that yeah this is what I try and tell my children my yeah. boys like I don't want to push them they can do whatever they yeah. want with their life but if something sparks their imagination in a way you gotta like that's that can you have to nurture, nurture it. Yeah. 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 yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, that's it. So, um, so now you work for Lucid, and and you're an engineer for them. Is that so, what I, if I 
go back. Go you, back. You were, the, you what were I wanted to do is for a while. Hmm. I wanted to work on Fomo and Carl's, but doing aerodynamics. Uh, so it's all about you know how you shade the bodywork and you can get more performance you know by you, you increase the downforce and I was mm-hmm. very interested by the being able to work on the actual bodywork and right. not so much the mechanical part sure you know. right so um, then I we were just discussing you know I was like I, I got my engineering degree and I found that it was very difficult to find a job in F1 because mm-hmm. when you apply there are probably more than 100 more than uh, 200 applicants yeah and most of the teams were in England there was one team in France but um, I think they just uh, closed uh, closed down because mm-hmm. they they run out of money oh, at the time anyway. and then it, so I thought the best way is to go to England because all the teams are there so and I one day I was uh, I used to read um, a magazine in in, uh, in English, and he had an advertisement for a new uh, master, it's called Master of Science in in, uh, in England, and he had a picture of Formula One car. He was a Jaguar, <laughs> and it's like uh, it was motorsport engineering and management. Yeah. I thought, this, yeah, this is what thing. I'm gonna do. It's true. I didn't I didn't know much about it. It was right. actually the first year they launched it. So I apply, I got accepted, and then I uh, I went to uh, England to study for it was about a year, and then after that, oh, and actually it was very good because I met uh, uh, Jackie Stewart, is a uh, oh my former gosh. former. I had <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. So he was part of the of the um, of the committee, you know, that was helping. Yeah. Uh, so he was, uh, and then I went to uh, see some crash test of. Uh, Formula One cars, you know, uh-huh. they have to comply with some regulations. Anyway, I I did the master and I thought, well, I really hope I'm going to get a job. <laughs> Keep applying. <laughs> and then it's just at the, Lucky. it was in 2000. Um, with a Jaguar? It was in, I graduated in, I think it was 2001. Okay. And I think the economy went down and they were all freezing recruitment. So mm. I went back to France. What? I didn't know this part. Yeah, yeah, it was very difficult, you know. So I went back to France. We've only been together for nine years old. Really? Okay. Yeah, I went back to France <laughs> and uh, I tried to work in uh, in Paris, you know, for one oh, of the yeah. main car manufacturers. And even then, it was difficult. And I didn't want to live in Paris. Paris is beautiful, but I found that yeah. when you work there, it's, it's very busy and it's, oh, it's I find city. it very stressful. City, yeah. So I thought. So then I thought, well, what can I do to get a job in F1? I will uh, start a PhD in aerodynamics. Oh, yeah. Because I knew one of the um, uh, the professor he used to work with the Formula One teams and got projects. So I contacted him, and he said, yeah, I can get a project for you. So one year after, I went back to England, went to Southampton, started to work on that PhD. And the first day, he said, well, it's not going to be with the Formula One team because I couldn't get a project, but I got something with Airbus on the new um, uh, aircraft, mm-hmm. you know, and I was not <laughs> too excited about it. But the airplanes said, weren't exciting enough for you. <laughs> no, I don't not. know. Well, yeah. I, I'm a car guy. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. 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 And but he said, don't worry, you're going to look when the the plane are landing, they deploy the wings about the same speed as the Formula One cars, and you're gonna look at the aerodynamics, yeah. and because it generates a lot of noise, right. and they're new, you know, they get fined, so we're trying to reduce the noise from the airflow. So I started working on that, but back in my mind, I was still applying for jobs, and then maybe uh, a year after in my PhD, I got for a job by, uh, there were three professors of Cambridge University that had the startup, and they were providing some consultancy for uh, Jaguar, Jaguar racing. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I quit my After PhD. After that, it was a beautiful end. I quit my yeah. PhD. Yeah. My, and then I, um, and it was great because I was working full time directly at the team. You know. yeah. I right. think what, what I really love is all the stories behind F1, um, like the Christmas parties. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it was Jaguar. The Christmas party. I'm serious. It's a Christmas party. Oh, I bet we they had, have we a had the Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> they actually hired the Black Eyed Peas. Yeah. For Christmas. Yeah, that's that's not cheap. <laughs> that's my guess. I like the way Edith <laughs> just flipped this around. They're like, oh, oh, I, I like the parties. The parties are the best part. I miss that. Yeah. Aww. 
So if I, I finish mean, quickly, so I, I studied at US Jaguar Racing, and then a few months after, it was owned by Ford, and Ford was not doing well, so they decided, well, we're gonna sell the team. So my, my, my chief said, look, I'm not sure if we're gonna have uh, some work by the end of the year, so start looking for a job. So I started to look for jobs, I had some interviews at other Formula One teams, but at the end of the year, Red Bull came and they bought the team. Yeah. Oh. And, um, and then they offered me to work directly for them. And I stayed there for ten um, years. I think it was eleven seasons. So yeah, yeah eleven years. Yeah. Uh, wow. Huh. That's uh, a long time. That is. It's pretty yeah. amazing, though. And then, and then I, I wanted to change, you know. Oh yeah. And I didn't want to stay in England forever. <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful country, but it rains too much. It, no, actually, where we're living, it was not so much about the rain. Yes, there's it rain, but it's not, it was not the rainy part. Is oh, the, yeah, it was very cloudy then. Yeah, the yeah. Sure, yeah. And I wanted to do something. I wanted yeah, to do something something new as well. I mean, I yeah. still passionate about Formula One, but I wanted, you know, trying something new. And then electric cars, you know, oh, yeah. aside to, to look at that because they pay a lot of attention to our dynamics. So we yeah, that's got to be a big part of it, right? So Reducing drag and yeah, exactly. Okay. Are you yeah. you're a car guy? Nah, I mean. <laughs> Not, he's a truck guy. Oh, he's a truck guy. <laughs> well, no, but in this oh. group, I, 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 uh, it is, I have a passing interest, but it's not something that I'm, mm-hmm. you know, well-versed in. But, yeah, that's but, funny. Like a hobby? No hobby? Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I guess I've done a lot of work on cars, and I, I do all my own work on oh, cars. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So, in that sense. That's so funny. But I'm, I'm more into the old mechanical stuff that I can take care of. I like that. But the electric cars are awesome. clearly awesome. They're amazing. Yeah. yeah. That's so yeah. funny. And it's, I mean, and it's overdue. Oh my gosh, it's been going on forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I do follow the, <laughs> the fact that the first vehicles were electric or whatever, and then we've, n- now we've been... I think what I find is... We've been burning a lot of old trees and dinosaurs from exactly. way back when. I think what I, one thing I found really interesting about it is um, the Ford electrical car. Like, Ford made a car, right? Very, the very first electrical car, but it didn't go into production. And now it's been like almost a decade and oh, so much time. Yeah. Now we're Century. finally doing, yeah, yeah the electric yeah. car. Yeah, I know it's, it's, I was it's a, yeah. at breakfast with my kids this morning and they were talking about, <laughs> they're, they're nine and 11 and they were talking about artificial intelligence. And, oh yeah. And my nine year old was asking my 11 year old because uh, Thiessen had done a, re- a book report on uh, Zuckerberg versus <laughs> Musk. The, oh, the kind oh of the, that's the great. debate. Yeah, the debate <laughs> over you know is I, AI going to kill us? Yeah, yeah, and, oh. and, yeah it's true. Yeah, it's right. true. And and uh, they were they were pretty funny about the just their their thoughts on what AI was and. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you know, I that's forget so what cool. I was exactly going to tell you, but it was it was a really cute conversation. <laughs> Ah, uh, the boys. The boys. Oh, yeah. it's cool though. I think um, for uh, young people, for you to help them, maybe you can teach them how to take care of their cars as well. Because then all this, the young people I work with don't have that capacity oh. because they haven't been introduced to it. I'm okay. I'm okay. I haven't been. They haven't been introduced to it. Yeah, you can grab so, some more wine. <laughs> um, Edith just pointed to it. There's so. a there's a distinct lack yes. of kind of mechanical. It's not even aptitude. People can learn different parts of mechanics, but they, but kind of the broad, you know, I played with electronics when I was a kid. I played yeah. with this kind of car, that kind of vehicle. Like I worked with wood, all of the different things so that they kind of inform one, one another, you know, but now people specialize so much that mm-hmm. I think they kind of miss this, yeah. this option to, take what you've learned in one area and bring it into a, in a different area. Yeah. But. That's kind of what I wanted to do, you know, when I, because I work on, always worked on racing cars, Formula One cars, and I wanted to work on a production car. Yeah. And the thing is, um, they recruited me, and I, because I worked for 11 years, yeah. I just carry on doing the way I was uh, used to work. And uh, I think the design studio got a little bit surprised because I would come <laughs> and then, you know, go and in CAD uh, do my own design. 
or co and, and tell them how they should shape the car. And uh, usually it's the, op the opposite. Yeah. Is they design a car and they give it to you, from what I understand, oh, because I, I never and worked then for you a week. Yeah. 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 And, uh, um, and then everybody's on the same floor. What I like with my uh, chief engineer is that he, he wants to be able to have a very good flow of communication mm. and go from one and, and have the flow of information going around the office and so you can work more efficiently faster and yeah. it's exactly the way I was used to yeah, working in F1 so, mm. um, so that's so what I wanted to do you know mm. it's interesting I mean so as you know 16 years old this is where your direction was going yeah. you know when did you start thinking about art Edith? Uh, I, or did, did you not think about it? No, I art? did actually. Cause Besides Prince being the <laughs> person, was there another draw? Was there another? Yes, I mean, it's so funny. It's so funny. Uh, uh, John Charles and I both went to two different places in the world for something beautiful. His was cars, mine was Prince. Right. But, but, <laughs> but, yeah, well, true. but, but, you, mean, but you also, I mean, obviously Prince. Okay, I'm kidding. But, I'm kidding. But yeah, I mean, you went well, to the Minneapolis kind of the College of Formula One design. race car of musicians. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 really? Yeah. Oh, 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 boy, if that impresses you guys. So, Let's oh. sew it together. Just wait, we got a, we got a, oh, we got a whole so lot more funny. to go. Oh, wow. That's, oh, that no. was, yeah, that, <laughs> that was beautiful. What's the, what's the Corvette song? Little yeah, Red Corvette. Little Red Corvette. Little Red Corvette. Corvette. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. All right. but That's but, not a Formula One car. No, no I wish. Oh, my God. No, no, I'm kidding. But I mean, when I was a kid, um, in yeah. El Paso, I used to go to an elementary school. You know, you do your assignments, you do everything else. And um, I always got ribbons for art. Like, oh, so remember it was, the a, old it was school a reward blue? thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So that made me actually realize that art is something that you can appreciate um, and work in. Yeah. So then that's why I applied to the Minneapolis College of Art and Design. With, like, my portfolio was, like, super tiny. Yeah. Yeah, but they took me. I did it. So it's yeah. amazing. Did yeah. you send your portfolio in the mail? Yeah. You had yeah. to. Yeah. Right, because in, there was in the no olden internet. days. <laughs> yeah. Right? There was yeah, no, no digital camera. Nope. No digital camera, nothing. So, so you, you sent it at the actual artwork, like yes. the drawings. The originals. Yeah. Yeah, you had you to send in the originals. You just put it in a FedEx box well, whatever. or UPS or whatever it was. Yeah. So you send it, and then I got a, a, a phone call saying, Hi, Edith, you've been accepted to the Minneapolis College of Art and Design. And I'm like, Oh, thank you so much. That's so amazing. And I'm like, Prince. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a crazy story. I've never told anyone that, which is probably shouldn't be recording it. <laughs> oh no! Well, no, no, that's, no, no that's, yeah, I mean, people love Prince, right? <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, it's but, no. this, but that's, that's so point. funny. I, mean, I that's know. What's I know. So interesting about this is that you know this is in both of your stories. You know, I mean, this is, you know, it, it, it is what makes each one of us unique. Mm. Yeah. You know, it, it is our story, and and you know, I didn't know that. I didn't. Mm. I, I mean, here we are. I mean, we've known each other a long time. We've known, you know, and I'm like, but we don't sit and we talk about these things. No. That's so true, normally. actually. No. You know, we just yeah. don't. You know, That's so, so funny. I think sometimes no. uh, people don't want to share right. like, that much information about themselves. Right. I don't know. I feel like I, it, maybe it's always been that way or something. Well, I, yeah, I feel we like spend we've, a lot of time together. You, you know, yeah, and I mean... We have a I don't know. The world's got. Now. There's so many things to. Uh, <laughs> many we, we, we have a real relationship. So well, a, pretty much. Oh yeah, your yeah. I heard your anniversary is coming up. Yeah, I mean my our, our my wife is. friendship. No, my wife thinks differently. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Oh, <my> God. <laughs> she teases me all the time. Aww. Oh, you going to meet your boyfriend Jim at the studio? Like, I yeah. can tell that, and I see the yeah. chemistry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I'm, I'm not too proud to admit I love the man. <laughs> Uh, we all love James. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think we spend enough time just sitting around. And I say we, sure, probably a lot of people do. I don't know. But, like, there's so many things to distract us in every single oh day, God. all the time. And I would equate my, you know, my <clears throat> adult life and my, my life as a child have kind of taken this path when I was a kid you were forced to go outside and play with the oh, other yeah, kids yeah I used to love that yeah there I mean there was there was there no was VR a crappy, crappy TV that had, you had to adjust the thing on the side so that it wasn't like with the, the ears hold. the antennas yeah, yeah. and That's so funny I mean all of you that you know what came stuff. back That's the, I have the V-hold well the digital antenna 
Oh, you have what? Digital, <laughs> yeah, digital antenna. <laughs> yeah, no, That's but funny. I mean, we, you know, we just spent a lot of time out outside fighting, yeah. laughing, having a good time, making up games, all of it. And Playing with mud. That's what I used to yes, do. Yes, yes. That's why I work in clay now. And I think Is that even, right? Yeah. Oh. Even, Sorry. Oh, no, no. I, Actually, uh, that's a good segue because what, you know, so Edith, right now, so, okay, so El Paso and then oh, to yeah. the Minneapolis College of Art Design. Design. Yep. Well, before El Paso, I mean, like, so you have, you have three brothers. Yes. Three brothers, yeah. mom. But they're, they actually, the, the thing that I did when I was super young, I actually lived in Mexico. Right. Yeah. And I used to help my friends make adobe bricks, which okay. is clay. Right. But what, in what, Mexico. In Mexico. So what I found, that was what I was doing outside, having fun. Yep. Right. So they would give you a box out of wood. You'd pack in all of the clay and then you let it dry and it became an adobe brick. Yep. And they, we made houses with them. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you were, were you born in Mexico? No, I was born in Los Angeles. Yeah. Okay. So your mom. Yeah. My mom was 18 years old and she took a greyhound. Yep. To L.A. Yep. And then she had me. Yep. And then we went back. Yeah. And you know why she did that? Uh, tell me. American citizenship. Right. Yeah, for yeah. you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Smart, smart lady. Yep. I mean, that's that's you know it's epic. Important. I mean, your mom. I know. You know, no, seriously, absolutely. your mom is that's amazing. She's a little and, crazy sometimes, but that was super smart. Yeah, and did she do that with your brothers? Yeah. Or for, yes. Yep. All I, of us. Okay. I just want to interject and take a quick survey is anyone's mom not just a little bit crazy at times like is there, is there a guy just a show of hands because i don't mind well, mine that. was crazy yeah john charles yes yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Well, his mom is yeah see? my mom is like uh, <laughs> well okay but we love the moms right yes of course, okay. of course. Right. Right. Mother, right. oh my gosh yes. and and obviously yeah yes. so everyone okay. everyone was in agreement their mothers are crazy they but they're are lovable crazy yeah. yes. right yeah okay, tolerance, okay so tolerance. your mom will never listen to this anyway your no. mom you know did this with <laughs> all of you guys yeah you know? she's super clever yeah yeah and and here you are now a berkeley professor <laughs> right i mean really that's that's, that's pretty impressive, pretty impressive oh. you know it that's really is fair. That's what he I mean, keeps telling me. I know we went we went <laughs> to no. France and yeah. the, we're talking to my cousin I'm and too his humble. I don't, partner. That's and hilarious. Are oh, you working at Berkeley? Even it, it's it's very yeah, impressive. Yeah, even in Europe. She doesn't realize it, and sometimes I say, "Do you realize a little bit?" Yeah, right. I mean, let's let's be fair. You both have very <laughs> impressive careers. Oh, right you now, do. And that's really you awesome. Guys do. Both of you. Do. you, you I know, no, we don't. Thing. But we're working on it. <laughs> Seriously? I mean, if you're going to do a podcast, you see Sam <laughs> yeah, I with love his, him. like, can right here. <laughs> you guys are like, drinking nice wine. Like, I got a can well, of beer. Not yet, but, but, I mean, I've known no. him for, like, 27 seconds, yeah. and I love him already. <laughs> <laughs> it's a quality I have. Oh, yeah. it's lovely. Oh, I'm charming. <laughs> Listen, that's pretty impressive, I, and it really is. I mean, that's a journey. That is, you know. No, it, it really is. It, yeah. it, uh, it's also a lot of hard work. Yeah. It is a lot of hard work. That's the other that's, side of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For sure. Yep. Anything good takes hard work. Of course. Yeah. 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 Also taking risks. Yep. Yeah. Right. But what's interesting is that that childhood memory of you, like kind of building those. The Adobe bricks? Yeah. yeah. I mean, how that informs your current situation today. Yeah. As so you're a working Berkeley in professor clay? Yeah. In I work clay. in clay yeah. at Berkeley. So yeah, it's funny. So yeah, making the Adobe bricks in Mexico. Yeah. Right. As a child, how as old child? are you? Five? Uh, no, seven. Seven? Seven. So, around seven. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so you're pretty old. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Building houses. Yes. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> right. <laughs> we didn't have a pension either. We didn't have anything. So, <laughs> so yeah, so I build the bricks, build the houses, and then, um, I don't know, my travel to Berkeley was a lot of hard work. Yeah. Right? A lot of risk-taking, but I also think um, I was super lucky because I had a lot of people around me that were supportive. Like at MCAD... The Michael Bigger, who was a professor there in sculpture, uh-huh. he was amazing. He helped me in so many ways. And if, if it was if, if it wasn't for him, I don't think I would have made it all the way to the end. Doug Freeman and Doug Freeman, of course. The two, I don't know, they're like my dads. Yeah, right? yeah. two of them. Right. Yeah. Right. So they shaped me. They helped me. They yeah. Made it in the end. So yeah. Um, I've never been good at remembering who helped me. <laughs> <laughs> I really haven't, but I've been helped by a ton of a people. A lot of people. Yeah. I think that's what it is, and I, this is what you guys are doing here, is you're creating a, a space for that conversation. 
with your app, you know? That's exactly right. Oh, yeah. that's such a sweet way of looking at it. <laughs> it really is. I like that. It, it yeah. is, but it's true, though. No, it I mean, is there's, true. There's like, I, you know, I don't want to be overly, I don't want to complicate or muddle the intent of the app, but there are a lot of different things that it does. Yeah. But it's, it definitely is really intended to make you look back on things and say, this is... This is the story of this object. This is, you know, my great grandmother had this. Exactly. She did these things with it. Yeah. Her sisters knew it in this way. Uh, my parents knew it. Their brothers and sisters knew it. Like that's, it's forcing you to take a look back, kind of think about the things that you you love in life, and then uh, it's true of people too. You of know, course. so if you if yeah. you're able to look back and think about the people that have helped you, that's really cool. So, Jen Charles, what about your siblings? Yes? No. Nope. He only has yes. six. No, I have just, just six. Two brothers and three sisters. Yes. We're six, and the last one. In He's the, the last one. Okay. Oh, the baby. The younger one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you both have. I mean, yeah. you know, you're both coming from. You know. Decent. Are you both the youngest in your families? No. Okay. Um, four. I'm the second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna suggest we give my Pause. yeah just take a little break here for just one second and then come back is that all right sure what were you going to talk about when we come back <laughs> how they met how we met yeah how they met. whoa oh boy mm -hmm. i don't know if i want to give that away personal <laughs> come, on. come on this is your legacy this is what you know why not let's just sit around and talk <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, all right yeah, yeah, yeah. a couple more minutes that's it okay, a couple more okay. minutes and then we're going to tour the city okay oh, yay. all right all right well we'll take a little break and uh, we'll be back. Thank you for listening. I can't believe you've made it halfway through already. I'm sure you can't believe it as well. Uh, if you are not a family member of mine or Jim or Sarah's, uh, that's even more impressive that you've stuck with us this long. Uh, don't forget to visit our website www.andalin.app or uh, if you're in interested in the institutional version you can always check out kineticlegacy.us too anyway thanks for listening we'll start with the second half all right everyone we're back um, That's so funny. Yeah, we were talking. Edith and John Charles. Yeah, Edith and John Charles. Yeah, Edith Edith and John Charles. They're in town from San Francisco. Yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yep. They're Mr. Uh, very fun. Motors Mr. and uh, <laughs> Berkeley. And <laughs> all right. Well, anyways, what we were just talking about. Yep. So we just we were all out earlier, and we stopped and had a drink at the Hewing Hotel. That's a plug lovely. for the Hewing, apparently. Yeah. You know. Um, I'm sure they'll appreciate but, but our eight we were, listeners potentially. We were kind of talking about showing this, up there someday. <laughs> yeah, sort of like you know, looking backwards and sort of a resurgence of like things that are handmade crafted. and kind of crafted. Yeah. <clears throat> and during the break, we're talking about what we're doing right now, and the and the fact that it's you know almost like going back to storytelling. You know, the early radio. Very early. Yeah. Yeah. Well, very... because, like Orson Welles. Yes. Right? And we're... you were talking about yeah. that. You were. Yeah. I was talking to my students at Berkeley. Um, I think it was like two days ago. We were talking about how the radio had so much power in those days. Yeah. I mean, when we think as it's just a theater piece, War of the Worlds. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. But every single solitary person that heard that thought it was real. Right. right? Yes. Right. So, I mean, you're sitting at home and you're panicking. And you're thinking like, oh, my God, it's the end of the world. What do I do? Yeah. The Martians are coming. Yeah. The Martians are coming. It's amazing. So I told my students that story to give them an idea of what handcraft can be. Right? Yes. None of them believe me. That's funny. My, my boys were talking about that, too. No that, way. Yeah, really? Yep. They were saying uh, Maddox. I forget what I said, but Maddox said something like, well, didn't didn't some guy one time <laughs> do this thing on the radio where everyone thought that the aliens were coming? And I'm like, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. But, <laughs> Yeah, well, but, too funny. but the idea of podcasts, you know, what we're even doing right here. I mean, this is very nice. I mean, it's it, it, it's wonderful. I'm glad you guys are in town. And it's kind of a, you know, we could be doing this at the Hewing, but, you know, it's kind of nice to talk yeah. and talk in a way that is meaning, you know, like meaningful. John Charles, I, I have no idea like mm. what you've just 
said, you know, we have never talked about that, and I think it's interesting, and and I think it's there's value in that. You yeah, know? that's and true. That's why we like to listen to podcasts that's too. True. It does sort you know, of push like you to hear, mm-hmm. You know, people's stories, and you know, instead of um, maybe a visual you know, clutter, cl- clutter of pop music, possibly. You know. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, lo- I love my music. But I love pop music, and too. And I can kind of turn my brain off. But if I've right. got a four-hour drive up north, oh my God, no. you know, I, I'm, I and love And that's what Amber podcast. and I do. Like, you yeah. know, we love a good road trip because it gives you time to, like, sink into something that yeah. is really interesting. Well, um, what's funny about us is we love road trips. We do road trips all the time. Everywhere. Yeah, yeah I love driving, yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Well, you do... Well, yeah, I work on cars. Say, like, yeah, you should. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, but I spend more time designing them than then actually you, you Formula One. I never had the chance to drive one. I mean, really? Yeah. Well, yeah. Eleven years you worked on doing their aerodynamics, you and they never let you get behind well, the wheel. No way! No, no way! I know they're like crazy? six trillion that's like, dollars. Exactly. Like, that's, yeah. that's exactly <laughs> what I was gonna say. It takes some skills. It also. takes some skills. But what, yeah. they, what they also do, which I found really interesting. Oh my god, I know too much about Formula One. What I found really interesting was is that actually the seat. Uh, yeah. They sculpted it on the actual driver. Sure. Yeah. Which is well, really cool. Which I'm sure he wouldn't have fit, right? <laughs> You'd have fit just fine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe someday, though, you know? That's too funny. So, you know, as a professor and Clay being your medium. Medium, yep. Right? Yep. How often do you sort of reflect on those early days of <clears throat> building? Uh, you know, I mean, is that something yeah. that you think about or like... It's actually, you know? it's actually what I get from the smell of the clay is comfort. Yeah. Right. Because I was doing it with my family. My friends were outside, you know, pushing the dirt into the wood frame. It was lovely. It was like a whole crew. Yeah. It was all of us doing it. And what do you think, you know, if you had to like just, you know, what, what do you think, um, you know, most of your work, what is it about? Well, the way that I describe it is a chronological light. Chronological timeline. Sorry, I can't even say that word. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Chronological timeline. Yeah. So I mean, if you know me, and if you and you see the work and you understand it, then you know you know me as an individual. Right. Who I really am, my real self. Yeah. 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 That's what I do. But a lot of your work is about sort of fam, about the human condition, really. Of course. Yeah, which is well, interesting because I focus on like human ontology. Which, yeah. Yeah. Which is my. This point. is where I always get lost with artists. <laughs> Sorry. Well, what's interesting no, about it? Is- I love the work, and I I love the work, and I can like recognize the uh, like I couldn't critique art. Oh my god, it's beautiful. But I was at I a, love that. Yeah, but I was at a I was at a cafe like today, and they had art on the wall. Yeah, and I wasn't very into it. Oh, but like right. no, oh. it was not. I mean. But I, I, I'm not going to say that it was bad art. <laughs> That's for someone else to say. <laughs> say okay. But uh, I appreciate the work that you do. I've, I've looked at your stuff, Edith, and I think oh. it's, it's beautiful. You're very kind. But when, when you start, like, human Did condition and... Ontology. Right. Ontology and chronological things like this. Oh, is, you said it. Oh, God. I always get stuck on that word. <laughs> Ooh, chronological. It's, See? It just sort of seems like, like if... Most artists are absolutely doing something that speaks to the human condition. Isn't that sort of the the deal with art? Well, I think it's more like the visual communication with audiences and people that you don't know. Right. Right. So you're putting a statement on canvas, paper, videos, sound art, whatever you want. Yeah. is, Is we're wanting to have that connection, that relationship with someone else. And that's that's the part that I that I connect to. Exactly. I just don't necessarily like when I, when it, I always feel like when people talk to artists, you've put them on the spot to describe something that they shouldn't have to describe, which is uh, I'm making the art because it's what I, it's my expression of the life that I'm leading or something. But, to a certain degree. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But, but I think for me, it's okay. <laughs> well, I think, I, think, I think where I was going with this. I ruined is it. That, Sorry. It, well, I, no, no, no. I think, I think breaking it down is like, I think there's something very interesting that the fact that you were using your hand to yeah. build something yeah, a house. that was a shelter. Well, and when it's you say, I mean, well, yeah, you, you would clue in on that. Yeah. Yeah. And when I you mean, said you're that, building something that was a shelter for. You, yeah. Oh, for the your family, family yeah. or another family? No, it was our family. It was but when, you know, Edith, extension. when you said it was comforting, yes, I yeah. totally understand. Yeah, that you can smell the smell. I've, I've done clay, Have you, you know, yeah. well, in high school and yeah. college, a little bit, right? Yeah. Um, and I had a lot of friends that were 
potters and stuff and at Bemidji. That's a big thing up there. It's the art department. <laughs> well, it is. They had, they had one of the best. I know. Uh, I know. I'm just laughing. Sweaty said that with such sincerity. <laughs> I know. I know. That's really, that's awesome. I don't know. Right, right, right. Everyone was doing that's pottery. That's too good. Edith, Edith too is all good. about breaking the boundaries. That, absolutely. Clay. Yeah. <laughs> There's no boundaries. But I. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. But I totally get what you mean by comforting. Yeah. Because, I mean, and you take it to its roots, right? It's just, it's earth. It's earth. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. you're actually playing with the earth. Of yeah, course, that's of course. comforting. <laughs> you know, it should no, be. No, it's true. Yeah, it is symbolic to yeah. a certain degree. Yeah. And I think one of the things for me when I was growing up is that uh, clay was everywhere. Like, yeah. um, you know, you would have a, a, a what do you call it, jarro, uh, like for water. Yeah, uh, what do they call it? like a watering picture? can. Yeah, picture. picture. Thank you. Yeah. So, so I had, there used to be. A, sorry. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> he caught it. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. Anyways, so as I was growing up, when I was doing the little adobe bricks, um, we would have a ceramic pitcher, mm-hmm. right? And there would be a cup on top of it. Yeah. And then when you take it out and you pour it in there and you drink, you can taste the earth. Right. Uh, which I love. Yeah. So, so clay has been around me forever. Right. My entire lifetime. And what other, from... what other media did you work in then? Uh, in terms of clay? Mm-hmm. No, I mean... Uh, isn't some of the art that I've seen of yours uh, oil on canvas or no? You... Well, you have you have drawings. I mean, I have drawings. Yeah, I do yeah. drawings. I also teach uh, another class which focuses on future technologies. So looking at you know film, video, VR, that kind of stuff. Cool. Yeah. Well, now. Yeah. But anyways. So I like to be a little fragmented, which our whole day has been. I kind of you know, noticed that. <laughs> right. I mean, you know, so I like to. Jump, you mean but... you know. Yeah, He's I, fragmented. I, I, I just, yeah, like me. me. He's you fragmented. Know, like, yeah. as I'm listening, I'm like, so my next question is, and I'm going to go backwards. Oh, when no. your mom came here and had you guys, like, how old were you when you went back uh, to Mexico? I was pretty young. I mean, I went back and I lived there, of course. But, I mean, she had you. So, like, are you, like, a week old? Are you two weeks old? Are you I like, actually, I don't think I asked her that. But I think it's pretty young because I right. remember all of my childhood being in Mexico in adobe houses. What part of Mexico? Just uh, Chihuahua. Okay. Ciudad Juarez. Okay. So going back there, all I remember is like the, the adobe houses we're working on people. Uh, there was no actual pump plumbing, right? right? So you had the outhouses and that kind of stuff. Um, and we had a community pig, which is so cute. It's the community so pig. Cute. Yeah. So, you know, when you're getting rid of compost, you just give it to the pig. Oh, that, nice. That's what it was. Was he... Uh... Was he cute? Adorable. And then huge though. But Edith, this is a question for your mom. I mean, like, I'm, yeah. I, I, you know, I'll as I'm her. sitting here thinking, I'm like, I'm like, how? Well, okay, so she came here, and mm-hmm. where did she have you? In Los Angeles. This, in Los Angeles. Yeah. So she's on a bus, yep. right? Yep. She has you, and then like, you know, what? Like a week later, or two mm-hmm. days later? I was. Like, I, I mean, I would think like maybe two weeks later. I'm not sure. She yeah. did the same with my brother Gabby. So right, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say two weeks. Yeah, that's a guess. Hilarious. That's a good question. I mean, God, I don't really come, mom. <laughs> no. Right, no. right. But I mean, that's well within no, that's, within a short that's, period of time. That's amazing. But well, that's like a so old school question. Like, why she'd be like, why are you thinking about this? What's happening? Because you don't know. Right. You, you know, know, moms. Come on, people. We just talked about right. our moms. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, no, no. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I think that also would, um, that um, childhood gave me was an understanding of community, uh, having people that will help you, having people that love you, right? And then sharing your story or your life with them, right? (laughs) And that's what gives us the concept of a legacy, right? Right. Um, Every day you go to work, you think about things, and then you think about your childhood, you think about the middle part, and then you think about your adulthood. And I think all of that wraps up together perfectly and beautifully. But it's only because of the people that helped you on your way there. I couldn't have Absolutely. done it by myself. I could have never got to UC Berkeley. I could have never gone to uh, CCA if it wasn't for the people that helped me. Right? right. And that's what friendships are. Community. You, and you, legacy. Uh, totally. Okay. Um, yeah. The uh, So I, I, you, you're doing a better job of describing why... Our, our app is important <laughs> than we are. She's the ambassador. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You're like right. selling this. I'm sorry, what? Oh, I'm so, oh me. Yeah, but um, it, it's one of the things that we built in when we were... So it's about objects, right? And and then you take the object and you tell the story. But in your own little museum that you build, mm-hmm. um, 
there's people, places, things, and events. Of course. And each one of those, in a digital sense, is just a thing. Because if whether you're looking at something, an object that's right in front of you, or the memory of a grandparent that's no longer oh, with yeah. us, right? Mm-hmm. They're just things in your life. Right. And, and an event that happened when you were a kid, that was a thing. You know, a place that you that you loved when you were a kid, it's a thing in your museum. So if you want to, if you want to describe that place and make the connection between grandpa, the farm, the, the place, the, uh, the old objects that were on the farm, they're all just things in your museum and you go and visit them. Right. So when you're talking about, uh, the connections to the past, I'm losing my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, did it again. For, oh, no. This is twice today. No, I, I know I had a really good point. Uh, you were making, it's you, fine. You no, were making you know, the point. But you're making the huge point, which is some of the things I do discuss with my students at UC Berkeley, is the memory of objects. Like, what memories are attached to a certain object. Right. Yeah. So your app was going to be able to uh, take that information, save it, and then, like we were talking earlier, uh, a young person, right, um, can see her great-great-grandmother's object and the history that's built upon it yes right so for me the conversation we have at berkeley is objects are important right yeah. and you have them in your life and they impact you in a certain way but when you move on the other person that gets the object doesn't have that history right which is what you're giving them yeah absolutely i mean right. that's the crux of yeah, what it exactly. is and i know there was some ugh, why am i uh, like my <laughs> I've got too many things going on in the old in your head. brain. Aww. Well, that's okay, but but I think I'll find you know, I'll find it again and I'll come back mm, to it. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I think Perhaps. what's interesting too is like, and I think for both you guys, I mean, geez, Jen Charles, you come from a big family. Mm-hmm. I mean, what is your relationship with with your siblings? Are you guys all cohesive? Are you guys all? I mean, I don't know actually. It, I mean, it's like one of the strongest families well, I've ever well, seen. Well, and you have a strong family. Yes. 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 Yeah. So you guys both have very strong families, and how is? Well, I mean, this is like two questions, I guess. Your interaction, I mean, with all of your siblings, mm-hmm. and then how are you two, like the two families, mm-hmm. like in, in, you know, weaved in? Uh, well, it's, it's it's difficult. Well, two two very mm-hmm. probably epic questions. I'm <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, it's fine. I know, I don't. And, and me here much. losing my train of thought all day, like yeah, I, I, you I, just kick back can't, and relax. I can't follow it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I need another sip of wine. Oh, yeah. there you go. Sorry. <laughs> no, Sorry, I mean we're all very close because, um, we've always been, you know, together. We have very good relationship. Uh, what I didn't realize is. I used to leave. We, we meaning you two? Or? Um, no, 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 I'm talking you're, about you're, my um, family. You and your siblings. Your siblings. For your first yeah. question. And yeah. then I used to, I'll, since I was um, 18, I moved away. So, but, you know, I would come back very often. Um, That's so funny. Uh, back home. And then uh, when I moved to, uh, I was in England and it was okay. But then when I moved here, I didn't realize that uh, the, the, um, the distance, but also the time difference oh, is yeah. nine, nine hours. Yeah. Made it very difficult. To stay in touch. But we, you know, now you can use. Uh, he lives we on have WhatsApp. A WhatsApp, WhatsApp, where we he have all members of the family on it, and right. uh, and we just oh. and, and but we I didn't know actually I didn't know about WhatsApp I until it to you. no actually well, it? it was at People work. People love no, WhatsApp. Some, WhatsApp. We were is at brilliant. work, and then mm. we went on a, a trip to do um, when we did the um, the test in Ohio. Ohio. Yeah. Oh yes. And one guy just did that because, you know, you you have people working and then some uh someone might need to go and and get some food for the, for the team or uh, one time I had to go in a um I think it's hilarious they use an app for work. Like it's no, it's great. No, because it was very practical. Idea. And then what I like is I mean, you you can you keep um, record of it and you can go back and then that's what I like you know yeah, yeah, and we yeah. have done and then I suggested my family let's do that because one of my brother yeah, lives so in, in the US yes. as well which you know I, yeah. f- finding difficult to we, have, we haven't seen for each other bit. for a long time and he has, hasn't gone to France so but we're very close so we, we use that that app and we mm-hmm. have the, uh, the photos and then I like to uh, call them 
no. and they call me yeah and then uh and the emails as well <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. shortly you're gonna use an app called Andalin. i know that. that's perfect <laughs> yeah. that is perfect it is yeah. that's what it's for that's what yeah. we're looking for i think it's funny because uh, most of the just general public doesn't have the opportunity to try to stay or actually doesn't have the opportunity to stay in contact with their family that they live in the midst because right. there's no way to do it but what right. i like is busy old. busy busy sorry no, yeah. camera. I was just, I was gonna say busy, busy. So you you know you lose track of time and you get on, get to speak with your family as much as you yeah. Can. I I we I think it still remains to be seen. Obviously, we haven't put the app mm. out yet. I don't know, kind of where it's gonna lead. I think we're definitely not a we're not trying to be a social media platform no. because we don't want we don't want someone from another place or not that you haven't invited in to be able to advertise some oh, political thing, thing or yeah. whatever you know we don't want any of that well i think this app is really amazing because it's actually taking a step away from that social platform structure mm -hmm. like everybody everyone in the whole world is using facebook instagram blah blah but because you guys are focusing on the legacy on the uh, the archive of your life yep i think it helps so much and i think it's very important so I'm hoping that because I know a lot of people that are already tired of Facebook. They're already tired of Instagram, you know, and I feel like it, what they want is just like a one to one connection, which is what we don't get. And social platforms are actually a lie. Yeah. To a certain degree. Yeah. Still. It's it's so it's funny because I have I have a love hate relationship with Facebook. Right? Exactly. I, I put my I put my kids lives on Facebook for my extended family to see. Exactly. So so I have six or seven brothers and sisters how many oh my god really you're a big family too well yeah my folks were divorced both remarried and and in fact my dad's remarried again and i have a i have a five-year-old sister right now mm. so he he married a friend of mine <laughs> um but let's see so that would be uh six i have six, yeah, six. siblings yeah and you know keeping track of what's going on in each of their lives That's facebook impossible. does in the moment really well i can see i can see today's updates of their life mm -hmm. but anything going back any anything you know keeping track of any of the interactions no, that ridiculous. we've had over time i don't want any of that stuff no. like i don't want to save facebook posts and the the thousand comments afterward none of that stuff no. means anything to me of course not so, no yeah. and I, the conversation i have with my students at berkeley is usually like what is your who are you on your social platforms are you yourself right or are you a virtual self right so we have these conversations and talking about like sharing um you know your kids day uh i don't know birthday parties whatever you're sharing um it's really 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 taken in a different random space because when we look at facebook we all think that those photos have been catered to right? oh absolutely they, they have been presented mm -hmm. yeah they have been used yeah and that's exactly what you're getting so none of that is really real no, I mean, mm. and, and you can be, people, I think, display varying degrees of honesty in what they post. Mm. I think some people definitely... Fabricate. They do, you know, they, they're like, hold on a minute, let's <laughs> let's all stand together and look like we're happy. I know. When they're not happy. And then some people just put up what they put up, and I think that's great. But, yeah. and I don't know that, I don't know that Andalyn, like, totally solves that entire issue and we're not necessarily trying to do that but it's a needed app i think so i think it's 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 if you it's a platform that that is needed it is you know it's, it's, it's what we're discussing it's, it's, yeah it is i mean if you look at what our parents might have done or even a modern parent and they put things into a scrapbook you take a year's worth of time you make one book with 50 pages or something and you put these photos in and in the margins you mm -hmm. write in Oh, this is the day you went to first grade or something. Well, now everybody Cute. throws that stuff out on Facebook. And from what I can tell, nearly every single modern uh, social app is pushing more and more to dispose of messages immediately. Like they self-destruct. Yeah. Okay. You know, like... Uh, Charles, do you want to... Yeah. I'm okay. You know what I mean? Uh, okay. Not... Uh, what's the one that... Uh, Instagram? Instagram? No, the other one that kids uh, are using. Twitter? Twitter. No. Kids are using? Oh, yeah. Snapchat? Snapchat. Snapchat. Snapchat and... <laughs> my, my cousins. Uh, yeah, oh my god, it's young cousins do that, yeah. Even, yeah, Google, young, even Google is making it use. so you can explode your emails after they <laughs> go out or whatever, you know, virtually, of course, but they're gone. And That's too funny. Uh, 
I think that, you know, whether it's Twitter, you were trying to condense conversation down into these sort of meaningless little snippets of where you, if you throw things on Twitter, you you Mm -hmm. want to condense it down to 120 characters or whatever it is, which is fine. I understand why they do that. But then what... What would you really care to save of any of this sort of disposable crap we're, we're throwing out there in the world? And how do you look back and say, these are the things I actually did care, care about? Hope. So I would, I would hope people would use Andalyn to put a few things in there every now and again and sort of curate the real exactly. memories of yourself. And let, let the Snapchats and the Facebooks, Facebooks of the world be them. They're fine. They're doing what they're doing great. But that's all... I completely agree. That's, that's how I see it. That's what that's I like I to it. do is <clears throat> sometimes I go, you know, on my Facebook page and I want to remember the things I've done, you know, and it's impossible. You, you have it's to so scroll hard. and yeah. I like to have a collection of the things that I care about. Well, and let me tell you what we got for you, mister. <laughs> <laughs> and, no, and particularly with, you know, with the family, I mean, I know things. Well, that's the a collection of yeah. selected right? things. No, yes. the, no it's, like it's, a, all, it's all curated. Like Everything's said, curated. Like one book, you know, yes. and you yes. can open it, and you've got all the things. The proper memories. Yeah, and you share it with you share it with your family specifically and exclusively. And it exactly. doesn't have to be you want to. And, and then you, you really share a different to. wing of the museum with your friends because your family doesn't want to see all of the stuff that you're oh, doing no. with your mm-hmm. friends, and your friends don't want to see all well, the stuff with the family. Yeah. So, and then the thing with you know, for example, Facebook is if you've got everything you know and sometimes the way i use it is is to keep track of or to see what What's my friends are doing. doing and i know i'm feeling even more disconnected now like i'm on the other side and and you go and sometimes if you haven't been on facebook that day or at that moment you lost it, it. Yeah. and then yeah. i don't I'd i don't want to go through and every each single right. person you know, i just i wish it. i could just and some people post uh, more than actually I, mean, I care about. I think so. uh, when I first started to use Facebook, I was really interested in the opportunity to the discussion, what you guys are doing here with this app, is that you were able to connect with people, like real people, right? right? Yeah. So now, um, clearly, everybody is uh, loving it. So um, the only thing I don't like now is that it's all about the commodity. It's all about money. You have like, little ads every time, like seven seconds. Ads everywhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the other so thing. So Facebook is kind of dead to me. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? It's like way too much uh, propaganda. It's way yeah. too much information. It's like, nope. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. But I am really interested to see that. See yeah, that. so you understand the uh, the difference. So the, the consumer Oops. version, Andalyn, mm-hmm. that's for you. Mm-hmm. You make your little museum, you share different portions of that museum, or you, sh- you make a scrapbook for your family, mm-hmm. a scrapbook for your friends, whatever you want to look at it. Mm-hmm. Those are the, you know, museum, library, uh, scrapbook, those are how people Archive. come. A, ha- a home. Memories. And different rooms in the home. Thanks. And you, you invite different people into those places, and and now the friend only has access to a certain set of data that that they can contribute to and share yeah. in with you, and then the rest of it is parsed off with other people, right? Well, in the institutional version, it's essentially the same thing, uh, but we would build, allow the institution itself to build a master museum with mm. whatever, whatever they want, whatever they deem to be important, whether it's places on campus, different campuses around the world, mm. people that are important, now and past uh, artifacts, objects that are important to the university or the, you know, um, and those things, events, of course, so those things all go into their master museum and they can allow, they can allow alumnus and supporters access to add things or they can decide we don't want to let other people add. We want to curate this ourselves. But now beyond that, you as a, so if it's MCAD mm-hmm. and MCAD has its master museum and you download the branded MCAD app, you get to create your own system, your own museum. Again, just like in Andalyn, underneath the, the larger the MCAD. MCAD version, you've mm-hmm. got your own. Mm-hmm. You can go into the MCAD master museum, copy things over that are important. But if you want to say, like if they've got the, you know, a certain art studio, 
uh, the ceramic studio, and you did a lot of work in there. You can, their main one, you don't want to tell the stories of what you actually did in there <laughs> necessarily, right? So, so you would do that with you and your friends on a lower level mm. that no one else has access. See, exactly. So. I, think, I think that's like the strongest selling point of this app is you have the opportunity to create your community, right? Also create groups, right? Yeah. But actually don't have to have access. Like the whole world doesn't have the access. Is that, it is that luxury. It is, yeah. Yeah. It is that luxury. You can, under one app, you can have your family, mm-hmm. Yeah. you know, and then you can have your shared experiences that you that only you two want to share, but maybe some of those experiences you want to invite some of your family, mm-hmm. some of your family, some of your family, and they can see, like, you know, a trip that you took. Mm-hmm. They can come, you know what I mean? And, and my, only, my only fear in it is that that we would make it too complex at some point like in terms of navigation or yeah in terms of like okay how much time do you want to spend doing this Mm. versus something else right well it should be very very fluid and that's that's our main goal of course really is to simplify it down to its its most core yeah Yeah. most necessary components and make it very easy for you to Mm. throw things in share with friends and then a uh, like you know, on Facebook, your news feed is filled with a bunch of crap you don't want to see. And ads. Right? And hopefully within That's clean. a very short period of time, handling your news feed within that hmm. becomes important to you. Where you actually, the time you're spending in there, sure, you're going to, just like Facebook, you're going to spend too much time, perhaps. But the time you spend in there is more meaningful. Of so. course. Um, in the conversation when he first told me that he was working on this app, I immediately thought uh, thought about uh, UC Berkeley because they have they're very well informed inside, right? They, yeah. There's like no perimeter, mm-hmm. right? So I thought this app would be amazing because then we can communicate with our students at all times, yeah. right? And I think it was like a perfect platform, you know, because right. they at Berkeley because it is an institution known for um, uh, what is it called? Known Sorry, for it's known for the politics. Yes, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, the history, politics. the history of yeah. politics. Anyways, yeah. So yeah, so Berkeley's known as, as a history of politics. Political activism. As, yeah, for exactly. Sure. So what happens is that there's also there's like outside individuals that don't belong on campus that they come in and then they like have a like a you know a riot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it has nothing to do with Berkeley. Right, right. right. Zero. So I. But it's you, public streets through it. Is that the deal? They can do this, or uh, it's a public space. It is a yeah. public university. Yeah. yeah. So what I. What I really love about this is I thought like, oh my God, it could be an interner, internal system. Internal, Thank yeah. You. Internal mm-hmm. system, right? Yeah. That would allow us the opportunity to talk to our students, right? In a space that is that, is the luxury of having the one-to-one as opposed to like the, you know, around. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah actually, we're super thrilled to put out the Andalin version and you can't get to the institutional version without first producing yeah. Andalin. like it it's that platform building yeah building that platform. platform is necessary to get to the next oh yeah portion no, that of makes it. sense but i i think the potential for its usefulness for a university like that for it's any institution really good. I, and i used to work at a boys camp yeah. and i mean i can see it clear as day how <laughs> useful and important this will be for them exactly yeah Exactly. It's really, I yeah. can't wait for it to happen. <laughs> <laughs> like, it can't happen well, to me. A, I mean, Edith, that's a yeah. really interesting um, look on this. That I don't think, uh, you know, I, it, it's an interesting, you well, know, so especially with Berkeley, for instance. I mean, any, but any Ber- school. No, any, exactly. Any, Berkeley, MCAD, Royal College, yeah, whatever yeah. you want. Well, MCAD doesn't have any, you know, I mean, they're pretty. No, but it, if you, if you want to well, communicate with kids. they're not as active as Berkeley. Yeah, that's true. But still, the students will love Although to I'm have that. Big, yeah, listen, MCAD may be doing our pilot program, so. Yay. Love yeah. MCAD. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Sam. MCAD well, is. and I mean, if you want to communicate with a kid these days, right, mm-hmm. send them an email. Good luck. Never. See if they, see if they read that. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, you know, call them on the phone. Never don't leave a message. What? They don't listen to those. Nope. Yeah. Right. Send them a text. Sure. Yeah, that, maybe. Yeah, you will get a reply. Maybe. Yep. No. For but all my but UC send them Ber- a push notification through an app that they have that tells them what's going on with students. It's the same as a Smart. text. They're mm-hmm. gonna they're gonna get that. Yeah. So, so um, people have called me insane for the fact that I give all of my students my phone number. Right. First class, please program my phone number into your phone. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the only reason for that is that communication. 
right? Yeah. I can't get a hold of them. If something's happening and I'm running late or anything like that, I don't have time to like email. Right. Right. So <laughs> the phone and the communication app would be perfect because right. then you hit the whole group at the same time. Bam. Instead of, instead of the whole like 27 yep. separate Emails. text messages. Yep. Right. It's, it's crazy. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So I'm loving that. I'm super excited about that. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. We have a lot of functionality stuff that right. we have to sort, yeah. of sort out how that works. But mm-hmm. absolutely, you can create groups within For there. Sure. And that's push brilliant. Notification to them. I mean, that's in it. terms of Google uh, creating groups, oh my God, it's so painful. I I hate it. Google well, circles hate... and so, oh, it's soft. Oh, yeah, you hate it. I do <laughs> like Hangouts, though. I really, we use Hangouts a lot, which I think is, oh, yeah. functionality-wise, well, is a what, lot like WhatsApp. Yeah. I mean, WhatsApp, yeah. I think that's the reason. The same reasons people like WhatsApp, I think, are the same I've never reason. used the functionality part of that. That's because you're an iPhone gal, right? <laughs> no no one, I mean, you have to be an Android person to know what. Oh, I see. Google WhatsApp. Hang- well, no, no like Google oh, Hangouts I have WhatsApp. is all about. Oh, God, WhatsApp. I don't even know what that is, yeah. You don't know what that is? You use it all the no, time. No, 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 Google Hangouts. Well, yeah, yeah you oh, yeah, yeah. use it for work. <laughs> wow, he sounds a little bit like her. <laughs> well, I'm old. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I know we have other things to do today, so can, okay. can we just, let's, how'd uh, you guys meet? Well, let's, oh, let's no! Just, uh, come on, come on, uh, let's just do one thing that might be kind of fun. I mean, come on. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. I mean, have you, do you know us, really? You want to know how we met? Okay, yeah, launch into it, let's do this. Come on, it's, let's do it was, it was legacy a, stuff. All right, fine. You guys are like... I mean, I kind of think, you know, well, you guys are let's both start rock with, and roll. Let, since he so. jumps right in, let's start with, uh, how long ago did you meet? Uh, are we going to nine years? Do the math, sweetie. I hate math. <laughs> yes. It's nine years. Been nine years. Nine years. Nine years. It's nine years. Uh, so 2009 ish. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and whereabouts in the world? London. 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 And you were both uh, you were both there working, I assume. Well, we were there living. I was living. at the Royal College of Art doing research. Okay. Yeah. I was not working in in he, London. He was I was of... 50 minutes driving. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Can I just? interject real quick yeah. from mexico to like you know your mom came over <laughs> here to get and now and now all of a sudden we've jumped to a london secret. right <laughs> so now edith is in london i, I That's like too funny. i don't know if anyone caught it at the very beginning to Uh-oh. john charles said uh you know I, then we moved to a place in france it's called nice it's nice. a little yeah. it's a little it's place. a little town it's like yeah we're like Everyone knows of Nice. It's like supposed to be the most beautiful place in the world. Oh, it is, it is gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it really is gorgeous. You don't have to tell us it's in the south oh, of no. France. We Look know. At him. You wanted to throw his glass at you? No. And, and, and I just want to. Uh, it's just we a little go town into this, I love it. You know, I, yeah. I, I really do want to give your mom a. Oh my God! Yeah. You know, sort of like mm. cred because also your brother is he not? Is he still in the Air Force right now? Uh, actually, no. He's a, a teacher. He's Where? teaching in Louisiana. He's still in the Air Force. Yes, he's still in the Air Force. But what's of really... course he is. <laughs> but you know what's really amazing? He's huh. getting double pension. How's that? Time served. Okay. Right. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, which is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he put the he's time in. He works super hard. He works yeah, super hard. Exactly. He works super, super hard. Yeah. yeah. That's all right. Well, that's what that's for. Exactly. So, all right. So, so you were you were both living in, in the London area. You were working. You were doing research. You were working an hour outside. Did you say Southampton? Southampton? Oh no, that was uh, that was before, that was before I, I moved back. I okay. was uh, living in uh, Miltonkins. <laughs> okay, I have a ton of British friends, so if oh, any cool. of them listen, yeah, really? Miltonkins oh, is interesting. Oh, well I don't know that one. Hey, apparently. Cool. I'm not well traveled. Well, my friends are. I, I worked yeah. at a boys' camp. We had at least four British counselors yeah. a summer. Oh, okay. So you know, for 15 years, I met four wow, new so Brits every year. So. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> silly Brits. No, actually, uh, some of my best friends in the Sam world. With his little glass of he's wine hilarious. Right now. I know. I'm all, uh, I'm all loud. Uh, loud. Uh, he's like, he's like, this is fun. Uh, is it Sunday? Because it sure feels like Sunday. <laughs> no, it's Saturday. Oh, oh it's right, even Sunday. better. That is better. Yeah, I still, I can do this so you again can tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> okay, so Jinx. Yes. John Charles, you are like, you, I mean, oh, the most funny. beautiful place. No, no, no. Well, it was in England. England. No, yes. that's not a beautiful place. Yeah, no. England. Uh, yeah. So, oh, oh, okay. Hush, hush. On so, okay. Uh, yeah, well, it's getting rowdy in here. Um, I can see the little needles on this thing. <laughs> They're all off the charts. Um, so anyway, uh, about nine and a half years ago, you're in uh, oh, London. outside of London, mm-hmm. and you meet, and how, how did that happen? I was Are late. You- 
for the he first date. He was late for my first date. I didn't whoa, whoa, meet whoa, whoa, it. Whoa, whoa. Didn't whoa, yeah, like, what is this? So, oh, this is delicious because it's really painful. At the the sub, the underground. Oh, see, he keeps, every time I say that, he looks Why like he apologizes. Every the <laughs> underground, I was not. He's like, I didn't do it. He apologizes. Yeah, was, <laughs> every weekend in London. Train conductor. Every, yes. Every weekend in London, yes. you know, the underground, oh, it's crazy. they're all doing work. Well, and, anyway, so our, anyway, I think I, our, I, our, first date, our first date was like May 2nd. Was it May 2nd? Wait, you I've got to stop you. Oh, sorry. You seem to have skipped past, like, you can't just have lived in a similar area, region to one another, no, and then all of a sudden you. you end up dating. Somehow um, you got to the point where you were even going to go I'm on I'm going to tell day. you right now. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I was doing. I was okay. painting yeah. the panorama, yeah. right? Okay. So, uh, you know me. I like to be on time all the time. One of my pet peeves is, like, hate making people wait, and I hate waiting for people to a certain degree. So... On uh, our first date, we decided we were going to meet at Liverpool Street Station in uh, South South London. And um, I waited. I was there on time. I'm always like 15 minutes early just to be safe. Yeah. He showed yeah. up so late. I didn't mean it. I always usually on time, even in that time. No, You're it's not true. still holding us against him, are you? I am not, but yeah. he looks like he's sad. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> no, because I didn't mean to be late. <laughs> I never all... like, look at me. Literally, I this is a man that... Loves you very much. Because he's so mad to make you late. I know. He's never been late. On our first so date. Let's give some serious cri- No. Oh, this pretty. Is, that's I pretty think awesome. you're missing the point, though. I want yeah. to know how you figured out uh, that you were even going to go on a first date. You want to say it? Mm-mm. Did you work together? No. No. Did you have mutual friends and someone introduced you? Okay, no? well, let's, Did you bump let's into each other on the street and then, say, because it sounds like, let's date? Do you want to talk about it? No. Okay. No, okay. Oh, well, then we don't. We're oh. done. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Your mysterious. first date, let's just start with the first date. Oh, uh, you know what? My first date was super funny. I'm the one I'm talking about, mm-hmm. but if you don't. Okay. No, uh, well, good. We'll, it's all we'll good. do it. <laughs> off, off microphone. Off, record. Yeah. off, record. <laughs> off the record. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Oh my gosh, it's so funny though. The... Because now I'm really curious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <laughs> so so yes. you went on your date though after him being very, very Super late. Super late. <sighs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, so where did we go? Did you go to the bowling alley the first time? We. Um... Do they have a funny name for bowling alleys in England? Like everything else? <laughs> I don't know I don't because so. I. It's called bowling. <laughs> I learned the British English first, so. Oh yes, of course. Yeah. But so, I remember the first time I met you, you had your, she had a. Yellow bag. A yellow bag. And we shook hands. I'm a professional. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, thank you for being so. And notice. <laughs> and and I noticed her tattoo. Extending here. her hand yeah. right now is. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's hilarious. Hand And then hey. we went. There was a a little um kind of bar. And we had a drink. Oh, the bells. Yeah. You had to go downstairs. Oh, yeah. There were so many bells. Oh, my yeah. gosh. There's so many bells. <laughs> Yay, London. But no, we, we, had, we had a drink. And then, and then from there, you can walk. And then we ended up yeah, we at that. the bowling alley exactly. later on to have a bite. Which is lovely. Yeah. I think we had burgers. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys want to hear something funny? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Because no, it's not true. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> wow. Okay, let's go. Uh, Man, I... this for these was rough. <laughs> No, there was, was a, no, no. It was a difficult first date from the sounds of But this is, how, <laughs> this is where a, a good first date probably is so uneventful you don't end up together. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. No, we had... A little adversity hilarious. is good. Oh, I know what you're going to say. <laughs> and it's... Uh, I can... I can uh, There's some like nine-year-old pain coming out right now. Um, no. I can justify. <laughs> I, I'll, Wait, I'll he has to you, justify as, it before as I said it. Let me just say this. Okay. As we're sitting here, we have two people that are reading each other's minds. I mean, there is no conversation between the two of you <laughs> except for the way you look at each other. And each one knows exactly what the other person <laughs> is yeah. about to say. What is saying? Well, that's, yeah. that's who we are. Yeah. 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 You are one. <laughs> yes. So, well, yeah, do you want to keep going or did yeah, we dig in deep enough? Let me just, <laughs> no, we're fine. No, no, go ahead. Do you have, no, I won't say it. You well, can say ahead. it. I don't have a problem with it. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Was it about his me? bowling prowess? <laughs> oh my God, his shoes didn't even fit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, we didn't play bowling <laughs> the first time. We didn't All right. We, because so that would be nice. I'll tell you two fun things from the, and I hope this does not go out. Two fun things on our first date. Yeah. Right? Sorry. On our first date. So he was like, hello. And then I was like, hmm. And then he showed up, and I'm like, mm. <laughs> yeah. 
She, okay, was, she okay. was not impressed. Mm-hmm. Now it's a bit because like so late, but he was sweet. He ran to me. He's like, I'm so sorry, so late. It's the train. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so like, okay. apologize. Yeah. Let's move on. Yeah, we're moving. Yeah, okay. All right, all right. So we're moving on. So there's two things that I feel that were kind of hilarious. Um, for our first date, we went to a bowling alley. It was super fun, and I was talking to him. I couldn't understand the word. <laughs> yeah. Is the accent? Yeah. Not a single solitary word, and it's also the bowling alley. So music was like. Yeah, that's yeah, uh, background yeah. music. That'll ruin, <laughs> at, oh, make an accent terrible. Right. The yeah. pins of dragon. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. for, like, I don't know, like, three hours? No, no, no. Yeah, it was, it was, I don't know. Yeah, we spent a few hours. Yeah, yeah it was like three hours. So, has his accent lessened? Or, yes. Or have you I think just I've become, become more educated. More, yeah, yeah, more, more mm-hmm. accustomed to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and then the last thing, yeah. which I know what he said, is that I wasn't, we, the date was over. Yeah. Right. Walked over to the train station, we got on a train, and I said, I was going to say, thank you so much. It's been lovely to meet you. He tried it, to kiss me. No, 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 no. Let me explain. <laughs> so Edith French. just extended her hand as if like, nice to meet you. I'm going to shake if, hands wait, with you. Wait, it's date number one. No, what are you no, supposed no, no, to no, do? No, 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 Let me, let <laughs> me. In okay. France, okay. in France, yes. every day when you meet, whether it's a colleague or a friend, well, usually a friend, but you shake the hands. Hmm. Um, when it's a, uh, a man and when it's a lady you kiss on the cheeks uh, actually when it's a close friend um, I've even a man you, you, oh, have I, you really? I believe him and I yes. was going I was going to kiss you on your cheeks <laughs> because usually <laughs> I don't was, shake hands of ladies oh, okay. unless it's right. like a very oh, professional wait. meeting something like that that is yeah. such but a she hilarious. thought I was going to kiss her no, but that is so wonderful. And, and so and what if he was trying to kiss you? He wait, liked you. Wait, in a first you. date? You could... well, Come she on. She has rules, you know, somehow. <laughs> she doesn't want to talk how we met. And how it anyway, it's okay. It it's seems okay. like it worked it's out good. for the best. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, so, wait, nine so years now? now? Yeah, <laughs> because good, ultimately, yeah. now we hit the time machine and we're <laughs> nine, like nine years, years later. later. <laughs> yep. Nine years later, That's you so got home and are like... <laughs> you can, I mean, honestly, both of you have your, we didn't actually talk about, well, I guess, you know, you built things as seven-year-old, but I mean, you have your youngest dreams fulfilled, sort I, of. I think what's really interesting. Some of your youngest dreams, and you've met mm-hmm. each other, and, and it's a wonderful life, and like, no, You're so it funny. is. You're uh, We always tell each other, I mean, living in San Francisco in that area is like so tiring. It was like, work, yeah. work, 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 work. And then we don't really have that t- much time to relax. But we are, like, every time we see each other, we go, we are lucky. Yeah. We are lucky. Right. right. But at the same time, we both came from big families uh, with a zero financial element behind it. Yeah. And then we got our dreams. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, you've worked hard. Hard work. Yeah. <laughs> hard work. You're right. yeah. Passion. I mean, yeah. honestly, you've, you've found your passions and you worked hard to achieve them. Uh, so. as, as kids. I mean, you left at 17, 16? Yeah, I graduated and I left. You. I was eighteen. Yeah. Eighteen, and About, I left. When you left your house, your yeah. family's house, His whole, yes. yeah. And from El Paso, I left. I was seventeen. Yeah. Yeah. So very, very yeah. You know. Well, you guys. We know. Uh, okay. Yeah, this has been a, a really. It's good. been really fun. It, mm. Honestly, it's been very fun. I, uh, great conversation. Really nice getting to know both of you. Probably. Uh, Know more about you for sure than <laughs> than now than I would have had we not done this. There's no That's way we would have figured this out going to a bar and hanging out for a few hours. So mm-hmm. I really really enjoyed it. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank no, you. I Thank really enjoyed both. it. This is super fun. Thank you yeah. so much. Thanks Cause... for coming to Minneapolis. <laughs> <laughs> I like it you because know? usually I feel like we you know you always run. Mm-hmm. You feel like you always run. run even on the run. weekend. You always feel like right, especially weekends and. And and when you meet people, usually, yeah, you, you don't, That'd you know, talk so deeply about, mm. right. you know, how no. you met Never. and, right. and, and it's things that you don't, you're not even thinking or maybe haven't thought for a while. And I, I really enjoy it because it really it takes my fun. mind off everything. Yeah. And then, you know, that, even, you know, discovering yeah. each other. I mean, we didn't I talk mean, with too each much. other, we know too much. <laughs> so I, I learned a lot of things Next about time my Next time we'll be interviewing <laughs> you. Sure, yeah. You <laughs> oh, my God, yes. When you come out again, you yeah. can interview us. Yep. And, yes. and uh, yeah, I'm an open it. book, so is Jim. You can ask us anything, and we'll answer it. No Whoa. doubt. Well, I, w- I was ready to talk. I, I have a. <laughs> you were ready to talk. I have a game I play with. Uh, well, and I played this with the kids at yeah. camp, but I play it with my kids now, which is uh, you can ask me any question, 
and I will answer truthfully. So, and I mean any question. So Whoa. I'd sit down with like a 14 year old. Seriously? My boys actually did a pretty good job. They've gotten used to me asking this. So they, they uh, asked me about sex and they asked me about, and I'm like, oh boy, boys. Like once I tell you this, you can't go back. You can't, no yeah, you can't unhear it. it. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's going to, are you sure you want this? But, uh. All, in all the years I did that with the kids at camp, they no one ever came up with a good question. They, oh. All the kids, well, they're just funny at 12, oh, 13, 14 course, years old. They think a good they're question is like, who they are. how many they're more actually... cookies can I get tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Why is that a question? But anyway, uh, the, and the other thing I learned was that if they did ask a question that had an uncomfortable answer, there's always a way to answer it as an adult. Of course. Mm-hmm. There's always a way to answer it without... With uh, care. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So you really can ask just about anything, anything. and they'll be truth. That's so, sweet. so next time when you guys are in town. But again, thank you very much for it's coming. Been a thank you. You guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, everyone. Thanks for listening. We love comments and feedback, so go ahead and let us have it. If you'd like to learn more about Andalin and other legacy projects, visit the website at andalin.app or kineticlegacy.us. Take care.